A gasp left me, and I tried to jump backward, only to bang into the table bench. I couldn't dart forward. He was too big, caging me. My stomach started performing stupid backflips. Decided that wasn't enough, and next gave a full-on circus trapeze act. Well, well, Cat said with a little too much glee. The other girls frowned at Cole before scurrying off. You here to walk Allie and me to class, or what, big boy? A muscle ticked in Cole's jaw. A sure sign of sizzling anger, blatant aggression, and I could have been imagining here that he hoped to one day be the heavyweight boxing champion of the world. Well, Cat prompted, Allie. His gaze never veered from my face. One word, and yet his voice thrilled me. Deep and rich and ragged, as if my name had been pushed through a meat grinder. Why was that so smexy? And how was the voice I heard now the same one I'd heard in my visions? Me? I managed to squeak out. Why? Stupid question. I knew why. He ignored me, thank God, saying to Cat, Let go of Frosty's leash. You're choking the life out of him. Her eyes narrowed to tiny slits, a sure sign of her aggression. He deserves to choke. He didn't keep little Frost in his pants this summer. The words snapped like a whip. He did. Cole snapped back with unwavering confidence. Not did. Not did. He said, calm now despite her growing fervor. 